Welcome to St Paul's at Home. Tony Hurl here from St Paul's Vicarage in St Albans and it's Saturday Night Prayer on Saturday, May the 16th. And in this night prayer we read the song Your Word by Hillsong and Jesus, the final uh, word we're going to do of Jesus, the Word, the name of Jesus. The Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. As we come before God, let's ask for his peace. Let's apply the blood of Christ to any unfinished business so that we go to sleep with no entry wounds for the evil one to attack. So ask God to bring to the surface anything that's grieved him or opened a wound, either by receiving a wound from others or by our reaction to it. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Father, thank you that there's always forgiveness because it's all been done at the cross. But Lord, we ask for growth in our kingdom life. That if you like the glass through which we see darkly, you will be a little less dark and a bit clearer each day. So cleanse us, both of what's just happened, but also deeper, Lord, the deeper cleansing as your life penetrates into every area of our life. And particularly, Lord, we ask for freedom to take opportunities that you have for us and to be freed from fear and live by faith. Freed from fear which draws bad stuff to us, to live by faith which draws good stuff to us. Because faith is, if you like, the eyes looking to you and welcoming you in every aspect of our lives. Before the ending of the day, creator of the Lord, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The song by Hillsong entitled Your Word. Before the earth knew its foundations, you spoke the dust into creation. Until the end, when all has withered, then still your word will endure forever. The lamp unto my feet, the light unto my path. Your word will not be shaken, your word will never fail me. Like a fire in my bones, like a whisper to my soul, your word is revelation. Deep calls to deep within your presence. When I hear you speak, my soul awakens. Your spirit leads my heart to worship as your word reveals the light of Jesus. The lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Your word will not be shaken. Your word will never fail me. Like a fire in my bones, like a whisper to my soul. Your word is revelation, Jesus. Your word will not be shaken. Your word will never fail me. Like a fire in my bones, like a whisper to my soul. Your word is revelation. And from John 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. I love the way that the word is a very simple word to use, isn't it? And children know it from an early age, and it's the basis of all our communication. And yet it's so rich in insight as to who Jesus was. He was the word of creation. Through him, all things were created. And in him, all things hang together. And we will worship and be set free when we are fully in him and the whole earth is restored with him as the head. So the word was the means of creation. Jesus created the world 
Father, through Jesus, by the Holy Spirit. So he's at the beginning of everything. But the word is the way we communicate. Without words, without the ability to speak, we don't get what people are about and we don't get what God is about. He is the revelation of God. So Jesus speaks, if you like, he's God speaking as he came to earth. And we see the Father through Jesus. We see what God is like, as much of God as could be got in human flesh. And it's a wonderful picture, isn't it? Uh, uh, Jesus lived this amazing life of facing huge pressures from every side. Adversity as well as praise, as uh, just every situation. And we see how he reacts and he's full of life. The Lord of life, the Lord of laughter with his humour. The Lord who conquered the grave. He's the word. Um, and yet it also resonates, of course, with the word of God. Um, but the word of God comes in two forms, really. There's the word of God in the Bible. And without that, we'd not know how to live well. Um, I love the way that you, someone said you need two lives, one to sort of find out how to live and the other one to do it. Well, of course, if you take the Bible seriously and you let it speak into you, you don't need the first life to get it wrong because there's all that examples there. And as Paul says in Galatians, isn't it? They're either examples to follow or examples not to follow. And you can read your Old Testament or your New Testament um, in that sort of way. So it's the word is, is stands and Jesus says, my words will never pass away. They are the truth. Uh, and that's, if you like, another aspect of the word. But there also, Jesus is the communication. So it's not just the word out there. It speaks to our hearts. So in that Hillsong um, song, it said, like a fire in my bones, or as the Emmaus Road people said, as they walked along, their hearts were strangely warmed as Jesus went through the scriptures, speaking about them. So the word is to reach our hearts. It's not just about knowledge in our heads. Indeed, knowledge just in our heads is often wrong. Paul was full of it before he was uh, met Christ. Uh, it's in our hearts. Our hearts are the centre where our hearts are to be informed and to get the truth, truth because it's the Holy Spirit dwelling in our hearts. And that's to inform our mind, not the other way around, although it can go in that way through the mind. So it's, it's, it's heart knowledge, the word speaks to the heart, but it's also living and active, not just in the way that the Bible is timeless, but also because God's word, the Holy Spirit, speaks to us in real time. Jesus said, and when he's leaving them, I'm going to send you another comforter, the Holy Spirit, another of the same kind, who will guide you into all truth. So it's the present word, of God and Jesus is that so Holy Spirit is the agency of the word Jesus just like Jesus was the agency of creation and that's sometimes called the Rema word of God because Rema means breath and it's God breathing both inspiring scripture but also breathing now into us and into our relationship and of course the two come together that we're to listen primarily to, for our guidance as to how to live, to the Rema word of God. But we're to test it against the Logos, the written word of God, and see if it fits with what God says. So does it elevate Jesus uh, is a key test. Um, but of course, if you look at the scriptures, there's a lot of actual behaviours. Uh, Jesus could do woe to the money changers, and he could do uh, not noticing sin in the room, as it were. So in that sense, the Bible validates those possible outcomes, but it's the Rema word of God which guides us in a particular situation, which is right. So Jesus, the word, deep, calling to deep within your presence. When I hear you speak, my soul awakens. Father, thank you that in your revelation you spoke and creation was done through a word through Jesus in the cross you acted and we were redeemed by the act of the word dying on the cross. Thank you that you speak to us 
and that you want to encourage us. And thank you for all the way the word is recorded through scripture, but also that we have your Holy Spirit to guide us into truth. So we pray for a ability to know God's word, the Bible, so that we understand how God has acted in history and we understand and it becomes part of our history. But we also pray to hear the prophetic word of God through the Holy Spirit to us now as to what he wants to do. So we keep in step with what the Spirit is doing in our day. So we pray for us to hear God's word. We pray for the church to hear what God is speaking. Thank you for the lead of people who are giving us prophetic insight into the season we are in. And we pray for how we move forward as the world faces this pandemic and then begins to open up how we are to pray and how we're to live and how we're to speak God's word. And we pray for our world that they may come to know you, Lord Jesus, as the word, the truth, the one who created them and the one who speaks life to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for this night to be one where God's kingdom is expanded in us and through us. So we pray for people to sense your presence in the night, in the in the lockdown, which may just be a night thing or maybe still all the people isolated, that they will hear you speaking to them and they see the situation they're in with you at their right hand. And they'll feel your presence and so have peace and joy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you've redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us so to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock, to the glory of God the Father. And Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we'll lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so receive Christ's presence, Christ's word to you. As I say, picture him at your right hand and speak with him and hear his word to you as we begin to wind down to rest or as in the watches of the night and the blessing of God Almighty, his smile upon you. Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. A very good night to you. Sleep well and every blessing. Bye-bye.